we've been tell, telling you about uh, this Haiti mission trip that we're going to do. Last week, uh, I told you that we were still trying to raise about $6,500. Our original goal was to raise $12,000 to do several projects in Haiti. For example, we do a medical, uh, uh, sort of a medical project there. We're going to put together a, uh, another shelter, an additional goat shelter for the goats. We're going to build a fence sort of around some of that area to help keep the goats in and keep other animals out. And, of course, Vacation Bible School, which cost $2,000. It's like 300 kids come, and we feed them, you know, two times in a day. It's it's fantastic. And you can see that our current trip total is 5367 And uh, so we're short. We need about $6,000. And that had caused me a little bit of worry. I thought, how are we going to do this? This thing's coming up in like three weeks. And then I got a phone call from Brian Stout, who's the director of Thousand Hills Ministries. And he said, Phil, I just got off the phone with the leaders in La Sienne, that's the town we're going to go to, and they say they had a storm last week, and the storm blew the roof off of the school. So I'm going to show you a picture of the school real quick. Um, don't pay attention to those motorcycles. <laughs> By the way, that's how, when we go on a mission trip, that's how we get around. And, and you're not going to believe this, but we put four people on a motorcycle. But anyway, in the background there, you see the school. You can see that there's some school rooms there. And here's the picture of the kids that go to the school in La Sienne. All right? Um, they look fantastic. And it is a real blessing for them to be able to go to school. As a matter of fact, the GOAT project that we participate in helps them pay for the school. I think I've got a couple more slides of some of the kids. Now, let's take a look. I've got another slide here that shows the missing piece of the roof. Okay, there's, there's the roof again. Now, that one's not missing. And I think the next slide I have shows that that part is gone. You can see that, you know, it, it is sort of a corrugated aluminum roof. Um, not particularly sturdy, as you can tell. And then you can see that there's a whole section of it gone. So the leaders in Haiti called Brian and they said, Brian, is there any way that your church could provide an extra $5,000 to replace the roof? And I said, Brian, I don't know if we're going to get the $6,000 that we're short, let alone ask for another five. And we talked about it for a little while, whether it would be wise to try to do this, what are the ramifications for the church. And in my heart, I was like, this, there's no way. There's no way. And then a little something hit me, and it was my own message that I preached last week. <laughs> Boy, do I hate that when that happens. <laughs> But the message that I preached last week was the fact that Joshua prayed an impossible prayer. And I'm, I'm telling you very honestly, this is a faith-growing experience for me because I approached the elders saying, hey, should we do this or not? What if we fall short of the goal? What does that mean for the church? And I mentioned that in my sermon last week. Like Sometimes my problem with my faith is I don't want to pray a prayer that I don't think God's going to answer because I don't want my faith to be affected, Right? It's called safe praying. <laughs> so I sent a message to the elders, and, and all three of them, Chuck, Kirk, and Joel, rep responded with an enthusiastic, yes, we have to do this. I thought, darn. <laughs> so here's me saying, we're going to ask God for the impossible right now. We need to raise another... 5,000 in addition to what we have. I have a new total that we're going to shoot for, which is 17,000, which means we still need $11,633. $11,633 in the next three and a half weeks or so. And it does feel impossible because we're not a very big church. I do know this. We're a generous church. We've never fallen short on our goal in Haiti before. And I'm asking you to come with me on a little bit of a faith-building exercise and pray boldly that God will provide this finance through us for that school. And by the way, we're going to replace the whole roof, and we're going to do it right this time. So it doesn't come off again. We're going to get this. Is, we're talking about trusses, a work crew, the transportation cost for all of that, $5,000. Now, obviously, we can pray for it, but it starts with us too. Uh, I'm going to give 
as much as I can give, and I just want to ask you to give as much as you can give. I don't always like, well, I don't like asking for money, um, but I don't mind as much when I'm asking on behalf of a group of people who really need it. None of this money is going to stay here at this church. It's going to go right through us, right down there, so they can get a new roof. So there's a few things you can do. You can make a donation. Just make sure you write Haiti Roof on there somewhere so we know where it goes. There's a donation box out in the lobby on your way out, or you can use our online giving system. Just text the number or text the word giving to 64600. I think we could probably put that up on the screen just so you can have it in case you don't. Text the word giving to 64600. When you get to the app, there's a place for you to choose where that money goes. Make sure you choose Haiti Roof Fund. And let's ask God for the impossible together. And uh, let's pray and do that.